Welcome to this B1 printer delivery e-learning session on report action, conditional action. This conditional action is example two. Uh, we had a previous e example about stopping duplicates of activities. Uh, in this one, we are going to see how uh, certain, uh, how you can set up invoices to, if they are about a certain amount, to include a coupon code for the next purchase. So the scenario uh, here in business one is that this is our customer system uh, in which they use print and delivery for uh, AR invoices and they use this specific report action email uh, that just are a very uh, simple setup if we try to run it uh, and send the email we will see an invoice that uh, where we have an email that says just say dear maxitech uh, attaches your invoice so nothing special there so far but the partner have or the customer have come back to us and said could you please make it so if the invoice is above 5000 us dollars uh, it should include a coupon code and that would be fairly easy to you need to a coupon system or whatever that means to you but you could just write the uh, you get a free coupon and the coupon code be, could be something summer 22 for example but now of course everyone would get this uh, coupon code uh, and we don't want that. We want to have that this customer who bought uh, for over 5,000 US dollars would get it, but this one shouldn't. So the way we need to do this is we need to have two different uh, email uh, reports. And that's fairly easy. We can just duplicate and uh, we could say email report with coupon. So if we do that, we have the two systems up in place, but we couldn't, of course, now uh, have the use of remember to, to do this and have two different setups or anything. We want to make it so the system automatically detects it and just use the right of these two report actions. And for that, we need a, uh, a conditional action. So if we just remind ourselves uh, via a notepad which we have here so RA004 is the one with coupon and the other one if we go in here and search the other one is called D004 No coupon. Okay, so that is the two we have. And if we look at the report actions it, uh, configuration here, we can see that our email button is just calling directly the no coupon thingy. So we can't just have it do that. We can't just have it call the other one. We need to have it conditional. So what we're going to do is we're going to simply say, no, none of these two can be run here. We need to run a third one. And we will make a new one. We get rid of this behind the scenes, so it's not in the way. Uh, so we are going to make invoice with or without coupon. And we can't just make it an email uh, report. We need to make it what is called a conditional action. And here we need to write some SQL to figure out uh, what uh, coupon it should be. Uh, and in our case, we're going to use some SQL. And uh, let's write the SQL over in Management Studio first. 
so essentially we are on invoices so we can say select star from oinv where doc entry equals and in our case we have a doc entry of 1045 this is a doc num but in our case doc num and doc entry are the same number so if we did that we will find the inf information about the system and then we could go in and find the doc total which is this so we can see for this one it's seven uh, it's 1700 but this, the next one would be over 5000. So we simply need to use our SQL skills. So let's say if this is greater than 5000, begin and else begin end. So we could say if we are above 1000, we should say select with coupon and we need to write for browse so we ensure that this, the sequel will work and in our else statement it will say normal or without coupon whatever we call it doesn't really matter too much uh, what we call them here these are just keywords that we will use so in this case if we take the big uh, invoice it will say with coupon and if we take the small uh, invoice it will say normal so now we have our sql let's copy paste that over here and in order for it to work we need to turn this number here which was our numbers over here into dynamic syntax and there we have a special keyword called doc key Hat sign. So this is the keyword that will turn into the real doc entry on the fly when we use this system. And now we can put in two different condition results if we have the one with coupon and if we have the one with normal. So if you have the with coupon, uh, we will choose the one called R004, which was the one with coupon. And if it was the normal one, that was the D003, just send the normal email. So now we have made this and we are putting that in as the one that is about to run. So essentially, every time we press the email button, it will run that SQL. It will evaluate to one of the two uh, options, either with coupon or normal and run the different universal functions that we have in the system, of course. So let's see it out in action. Uh, we are now on the big invoice. We don't have any drafts right now. So we should expect the one with coupon when we press the email button. And we do. If we go to the other one, the one below 5,000, we could press the button again. And as we can see, we got the one without the coupon. So now we have a conditional system and it's only your imagination that choose what SQL can be run here. It could be that the customer have a specific uh, property field set or whatever in the world you can think of and what your customers can think of. If you can write it in SQL and turn it into different uh, conditions results, you can do different things. So that is everything for this session. Hope it was beneficial, hope it was inspiring and see you in the next one.